Here's a couple different examples of the stringers that we install when we're doing a new stringer job. These are the ones that we're putting in this job here, particular job. These are ACZA, pressure treated wood stringers, dug fur, number one. And here's the pin, again, that we drill down through and that attaches to the log. And that's what keeps those in place. Wood's good because it floats and it's a like material in a like manner. But the new thing, and what some people go for, is the new steel stringers because they're forever. But the problem with steel is it's really heavy. Uh, this is 22 pounds per foot versus 10 pounds per foot. Um, what we do when we're done with the steel uh, is we prep it by drilling holes in it for the lags to go through, 10 inch galvanized lags, go through the flange like this, the logs, and that's all done from underneath the house. So that saves us from having to pull up flooring or doing any holes with the big pins on the wood streers. So that kind of offsets that cost, even though they're more money. And before we install it, we put this wood cap on there in such a manner that this is what goes up underneath the house of the floor joist. And we're allowed to screw this into our floor joist, which helps keep them in place. So here you have uh, our new stringer installation. Here's the existing stringers that were here built when the float was built and they have reached their lifespan. And here's the new one. Uh, they don't look much different unless you cut into it. Um, this new one goes all the way across the float, which is 32 feet wide. And that's why it's important for us to dap them down to good wood and then pull the house out in order to get those beams in there.